Kyle delivers the plans to the Rebel Alliance. Soon afterwards, the Death Star is destroyed. But even as the Alliance celebrates this victory, another sinister plot is set in motion that will become an even greater concern for the Rebellion. No, not a sinister plot! How dare the Empire have a sinister plot! Your test demonstration, General Monk. Thank you, Lord Vader. What I unveil today will mark a new era for the Empire. We will be able to decimate the Rebels just as we did the Jedi Knights. At last, the Emperor's War will be filled only with the glory and beauty of decisive victory. Yeesh. A noble cause, General. I hope the demonstration lives up to your claims. Proceed. With pleasure. Dark Trooper, release. Dark Troopers? What? Yeah, those look slightly creepy. Man, 3D modeling in time. <laughs> Honestly, considering this is actually fairly good quality for the time, I mean, it's pretty cool what they managed to do with, like, with what they had. Very impressive, General. The impressive. Emperor will be most pleased. <laughs> Continue with your project. I don't do exactly a great Darth Vader. Certainly, Lord Vader. Here comes the Rebel Fleet. Let's drop! Thank you, Commander, for responding at such short notice. The Empire has been keeping us on the run since the destruction of the Death Star. Five days ago, the Empire attacked one of our secret bases in the city of Talay. Guess it wasn't so secret. It's a drop. No, I think that's footage straight from the actual movie. But it's so distorted that you can't really tell. Tack base was destroyed within minutes. Many innocent people in the surrounding city as well as the rebel staff were killed. Intelligence thinks that this may be an act of retaliation for the destruction of the Death Star. Interesting. This looks like it could be a normal Imperial attack. Except for those sounds. Very perceptive, Commander. I know you understand that all we discuss here is classified. This Imperial officer, Crix Medine, wishes to defect to the Alliance. He has supplied us with information on the development of a new Imperial weapon. Those sounds you heard, we believe, come from that weapon. A new type of Stormtrooper. The Dark Trooper. A new Stormtrooper that can take out a Rebel base that quickly? I should have kept working for the Empire. Oh. The Rebel <laughs> Command is not taking this lightly. They have authorized me to hire you to find out if there is a threat and if there is, to shut it down. That is, if you are still on our side. This could be interesting. Alright, I'm in. But I think I'll need some help on this one. I want Jan Ors as my mission officer. Certainly. Then I will let Jan brief you further on your mission objectives. Is she Thank the you, one? And may the force be with you. Because it sounds familiar. I think that's. I think she's in Jedi Knight 2. And if you want to play the part Crix Maydeen is finally defected over, yeah, that's in Rogue Squadron 1, I believe. And I was like, hey, I know that name. Mission 2 Tele Tac Base after the massacre. It's good to see you, Kyle. Good job on Operation Skyhook. The rebels were very impressed. Now it's back to mission hopping, just like the old days. Background. Rebel Command has made a brief reconnaissance of the area, and it's swarming with Imperial activity. The power is still down in the city, so some of the systems are going to be down as well. 
You need to find the main hydroelectric power generator and get it back online. It looks like that. Okay. Mission. The Empire usually gets sloppy after a major offensive, so we may be able to find evidence or leads about this new dark trooper we've been hearing about through Crix Maidine. His contacts inside the Empire will help us follow up on anything you might pick up. Good hunting, Kyle. So find and restart the hydroelectric power generator, find some clue to the dark trooper, and turn to landing area. Alright, seems pretty straightforward. And hey, how many enemies could there be? It's not like they'd stick around after they kill everybody, right? 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 Let's take a look around outside first. Oh gosh! Okay, apparently they kept people around. Ugh. Burnt out bodies and stuff. Flashbacks to episode 4. Oh gosh, why am I so slippery? Yeah, sure, I'll stop. Hot. Ugh. Bullets are not my favorite! Ugh, oh, I can't see. Yeah. Don't shoot me. Blah! Hey, more people. Suck it! Okay, now I don't know where I am. Eh, whatever. Just keep moving, I suppose. Past that. I'll just. Oop, hey, look at the map. Surrender immediately! Ah! Oh! Can't see who I'm shooting at. Do I have a light or something? Doesn't look like it. This door open. Uh, the door won't open. Okay, fine. Can I just hop over this wall? Yup. Okay, run for cover. Oh yeah, everyone's dead. Everyone's dead. <laughs> hmm, okay, I'm guessing jumping in the water would probably be a bad thing. Because, like most video game characters, I bet Kyle can't swim. Really now? I hadn't noticed. I'm guessing some things are closed off as long as the power's off. Black room, that's just useful. Ugh, I gotta get the power back on so I can actually see. The 
I'm doing mostly okay without it. So why would they stay for so long after killing everybody? They just... Nah. You there, stop where you are. No, I'm good, thanks. Ow. Oh, you guys are dead. Did I just go through this area and there was no one here? Seriously, all these like, the stormtrooper helmets must be muffling too. Oh my gosh.